So the UK vote is a setback to President Obama, who has virtually ruled out the prospect of getting support for a military strike in Syria uh, through the United Nations Security Council. This is the front page of the uh, New York uh, Daily News this morning. And uh, as you can see, it says President Obama, uh, it, it talks about the Brits aren't coming. It says that President Obama is starting to look more like the Lone Ranger than Paul Revere. That's a reference to the American patriot to... Uh, coined the phrase, the British are coming. And inside the paper this morning, the, uh, uh, it says the biggest blow to President Obama's attempt to form a sort of coalition of the willing, if you like, is, uh, has been dealt by what it refers to as the normally reliable Brits. Meanwhile, Jane, there is a new opinion poll here which shows that 50% of Americans believe the United States should not intervene in Syria, 42% uh, supporting that, and equally, perhaps even more revealing, I think, uh, the poll also suggests that as many as 80% of uh, the American population believe that President Obama should obtain Congress's support for any sort of action in Syria. And, and that's interesting, David. Is there any possibility of that? Is there any requirement for that? Because, of course, the feeling is from where we sit that is that President Obama created his own red line, and that's why, why we are where we are. Well, that's very true. And you know what? There are actually some here who are saying that perhaps the United States should follow the UK model, recall Congress from its summer recess, have a vote on this in the same way that the UK has. There are also those who say that were there to be that sort of vote, there's every chance, Jane, that it could go the same way that the British vote went, which would, of course, deal uh, a remarkably embarrassing blow uh, to President Obama.